the best haircuts if you have a calic or a swirl, but I'm used to calling it calic, and I get so many people asking me about those types of challenges they may have. Some have, you know, oh, I've got a calic right in the front, I got one in the back, or I got two in the front, or I got, you know, five on the back, and one. Whatever it is, every human being, the hair growth pattern is different. Some people have no calyx whatsoever or swirls, and some people have two or three on their head. I don't know how that happens. It's just the way you're born. So just take that into consideration. It doesn't mean anything's wrong with you. It's just that's how your hair is. And I know it can be challenging, but what I want to do is help explain to you some options you may have and some of the best hairstyles that I suggest. So the first thing to understand is what really is a calic or a swirl? It's when the hair grows in a, few, a number of different patterns in one area. So it's almost like a complete circle, right? This one area, say right in here, all the hair growth pattern is just growing in a completely you know, circular type uh, manner, or it's just very it's not really the same as everything else. That's what makes it stand out. That's what makes the hair split. So I know people hate them and they can be a pain in the butt to deal with. So the first thing you need to understand is only certain types of hairstyles are going to work best if you've got those problems. So the first one that I want to talk about is something like this. So this particular hairstyle right here, right? Why is this hairstyle good? Let's get a little bit closer here. Well, First of all, if you notice, it's a bit on the longer side, as you can see. So if you've got a swirl right in the front, or you've got a swirl, swirl on this side, or wherever it is, anytime the hair is longer, it's going to weigh it down, which is going to help cover it up. So having longer hair, if you're trying to defeat and overcome those challenges with your hair, is definitely the way to go, because the weight of the hair is simply going to allow you to just run your fingers through it, and it's going to either cover up the calic, or it's gonna be able to just make it lay a lot flatter. And I've done videos on people uh, whose hair kind of splits like this in the back, right? If you have a hair, if you have the problem, I have done a video on it, why the hair splits in the back. Um, well, by having it longer, it's gonna help weigh it down. It may still kind of wanna split because that's what calyx do, but once again, by blow drying the hair and using some styling techniques like going the opposite way, going both this way, going that way, going forward, just really working and manipulating the hair, that's really going to help defeat and overcome that calic. Because you, remember, like I said, the calic is simply just the growth pattern, the way the hair is growing. So it's long enough, you can actually manipulate it and get it to uh, be much easier to style. The next one, since we're uh, on the topic of a little bit longer, is yes, your traditional kind of undercut. And why do I say this? Well, first of all, if you've got a calic maybe on the side here, or you've got one in the front, or you know, right in the back here, you know, underneath all this hair, well, the good thing about this is that if you're buzzing it off, well, guess what? The hair is so short that the hair is not going to split. Now, you may see it right here. I've seen a lot of scenarios where you can actually see the calic, and people are like, oh, am I going bald? Am I losing my hair? No, it's just because the hair growth pattern is going all over the place. And that's what makes it look a little bit off. But if you have the hair longer like this and slightly layered, but once again, we're going with that, the weight factor of having the hair longer so it's heavier, which allows you to cover up the calic and the hair is not going to be sticking up in 18 different directions. Another one on the longer hair side is this is the mannequin I still am trying to get rid of, but I, I haven't. And uh, as you can see through here, it's kind of the almost very, very traditional e-boy type haircut. And this is parted either in the middle or on the side. Whatever it is, having the hair longer like this, again, it's going to weigh it down. It's also going to help camouflage it as well. So it's, it's going to be a little bit easier if you have some layers on top to actually tossle it a little bit and actually hide the calico instead of trying to fight it. Because really, if you kind of mess the hair up like this, you don't even see a parting. And that's, what, that's really what the calic is doing. It's almost like creating a parting that you don't probably want. So by kind of having some layers and some length here, it helps camouflage that, and it's so much easier to style. Here's another one that's really, really popular, especially on you know, TikTok and social media, where having some texture 
or a curl or a light wave on the top of your hair is really, really, really gonna help as well because what's happening is, once again, if you got a calyx say right here and it's going all around in a circle, by having that texture and those layers, you can see what's happening is it's camouflaging that and it's becoming part of the style, right? So don't be afraid to wear it a little bit more messy, a little more textured, a little more on the curlier side, and that's really, really gonna help, especially in the front here. For everyone who says they have one in the front or in the corners, having the hair like this uh, is really gonna hide it, so you're not gonna have any sort of issue. And then lastly, for the final example, is something that is really, really short, right, in through here. So if the calic wants to make the hair start sticking up in all directions, because the hair is short, as you can see, I'm actually spiking the hair and making it be part of the style instead of fighting it. Like I've mentioned before, if you try to fight it or go against it, it's gonna want to stick straight up. So combing the hair in the direction of the calic of where that grows, that's gonna really help it lay flat too. I've, I've talked about that in the past. But because again, this is a shorter, it's incorporating the area in the hair that's sticking up and then I'm working it into the haircut where it blends into the front. This isn't super, super long, um, but it's long enough to have a little bit more of a style. But as you can see, it's got some great texture to it and it just looks like, you know, you won't even think there's a calic there because it's part of the haircut. So again, it's all about understanding how your options, it's really understanding your options. And that's where the professional, right? The hairstylist or the barber, they need to really be telling you these things. I can't control how other people cut hair. I can't control their expertise. I'm sorry about that, but you really need to have somebody who understands hair. You may have to pay a little bit more for your haircut. And I have gotten comments where people say, oh, I spend so much money and my haircut still sucks. Oh, I mean, I'm sorry. There's good people out there, there's bad people out there. But what we really need to understand are your options and what's gonna work best for you. If you don't want long hair, but you still are having issues with the calic, well, guess what? You may never overcome them. Maybe it's time to just shave your head really short, or if you, you know, don't want really long hair and you want to keep it short, then that's, that's cool. So hopefully this video really helped you understand the different types of options there are when it comes to uh, taking on these, these calics and these swirls so you can have an easier time styling your hair. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for more videos with Slanga.